Josh, disappointing defeat here uh, this afternoon. It, when you equalised, there seemed like so much possibilities, but it just didn't work out for us in the end. Yeah, um, obviously for myself, really happy with the goal, but from a, from a team team performance, you know, I thought you know we dominated the game, we played the way we wanted to play, um, but you know it's sloppy errors again um, have cost us the the points, and you know we needed to use the momentum we had, and then we could see straight away. Um, so we don't help ourselves really, um, but bearing in mind the result, we've got a lot of positive to take from that. It's just we need the three points and we didn't get them. At times today, we'll start with the positives. You, you look like you enjoyed yourself, you know, had the freedom on this right wing, and it looked like a goal today probably come from one of your deliveries. In fact, it's come from one of Dimitri's onto mm. your head. It was it's a fantastic ball from him and, and a great finish that you couldn't really miss. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, I've had a a lot of chances recently and been really frustrated, you know, not, not putting them, well, not scoring them. Um, so, yeah, really delighted with it. And, you know, you know, with Dimi on the other side, he's going to have put good deliveries in the box. So the gaffer just said to me, get, get on the back post. And, you know, it was the perfect ball and I just had to put it in. Um, and thankfully, that's what I did. So really happy with that. Um, and, yeah, hopefully, you know, with, with the way we're playing now, it means that me and Dimi can get higher, um, hopefully produce more attacking football like we did today. When Sam missed that penalty, I mean it was a great chance to go one up. Didn't quite work out for him. Mm. I think Cheltenham probably capitalised on that few minutes after that when it was sort yeah. of like a, a punch in the stomach kind of thing, and yeah. they, they were able to take that advantage. And probably not our best first half going into, into half time. Yeah, um, look, we back Nombe every time on the penalty spot, and you know we watch him in training, and he rarely misses him. So um, you know we can't really say much about that. But yeah, we just had to after that, you know, gave them a bit of momentum, and we just had to settle it. Um, and again, it was a little slip which you can't control. Um, and then we just got to, you know, be better after that. It, it was, I feel like it went against the game really. But you know, that's what this team do. You know, they, they go against the, the the way the play goes and score goals like that. So um, we knew that was going to happen today, and we, we didn't stop it as as much as we could. But I thought we kept them at bay most of the game, really. Something Gary mentioned uh, there was moments throughout the game where we were attacking so well, and that probably left us vulnerable at mm. the back and perhaps you know focus more on defending when you're attacking kind of thing yeah you know every four phases of play you know when when you're attacking when you lose the ball you've got to then defend the counter-attack um before you can defend the, defend the game properly so it was just a game of they counter-attacked and that's what they wanted to do and it worked out for them today um because apart from the goals we didn't really feel we were threatened too much it's a really good header from the corner um and then they just capitalized on our mistakes and i guess that's all they could do on a personal note, you, you've spoken before about the amount of chances you had and you're disappointed that you hadn't scored more this season. Mm. Do you see this as a chance for you now to, you, now you've found the back of the net again, to just carry on, uh, find the net a few more times before the end of the season? Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, every player wants to score goals and with the amount of chances I've had, I would have liked to thought I would have scored more. Um, so it's been a very frustrating couple of months for me um, and could have changed a lot of the results we've had to three points. So. Again, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And, you know, I hope, hopefully I can finish the season strong like, like I did today. Next week at home against Hackington, a chance to put it right and we'll always back ourselves at home. Yeah, you know, as I've said before, SJP used to be a fortress, so we need to make it that again. Um, and hopefully, you know, it's a great, great time to bounce back against Hackington on Saturday. So look forward to it. Cheers, Josh.